di Place value and face value. Place value. Hi, Kenzi. Come, let's go to the oasis. Look, there are road runners and shear tiles around us. Tell me, Kelsey and Fern, how many road runners do you see on the date trees? Auntie, I will tell you. One, two, three, four, and five. We all spotted five indigo buntings on the tree one. One, two, and three. Three shear tails on tree two. And one road runner. On the tree three. Is that right, Auntie? Good job, Latif. Therefore, the birds hold face value and the date trees hold place value. Place value determines the value of each digit in a number based on its position or place. So, we can see that there are trees and on the different trees there are birds. We have tree 1, tree 2 and tree 3. These trees are called place values in mathematics and we can call them 1s, 10s, 100s and so on. Face value I will also tell you what face value is. Face value is the actual value of a number irrespective of its position. So a number has both face value and place value? Yes, baby. Let's take the birds and the trees that we spotted as an example. On tree 1, we saw 5 indigo buntings. That means the place value here is the tree 1 and face value are the 5 indigo buntings. Likewise, for tree 2, the place value is tree 2 and the face value is the 3 shear tails. And why don't one of you tell me what the place value and the face value for the next one is? Mm, let me guess. The place value is the tree 3. And the face value is the one road runner bird. Is it correct, Auntie? Yes, Kelsey, you're so smart. Okay, kids, so place value and the face value allows you to read, write, compare, and perform operations with numbers accurately. All right, children, let's all take out our learning kits. Ones. Tens and hundreds is called place value. And the numbers that are written under these are called face value. Auntie, we learnt about place value and face value by looking at the trees and birds. But what are ones, tens and hundreds? Latif, let me tell you what ones, tens and hundreds are by looking at the Achillea flowers. Are you ready? Yes, Auntie. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 flowers means 9 ones. Now, if there's another Achillea flower, it becomes 10 flowers. This means that 10 ones or 110. Now, we have 2 tens, 3 tens, 4 tens, 5 tens, 6 tens, 7 tens, Eight tens, nine tens, and ten tens. 
Ten tens make one hundred. So let's break down the number one hundred and thirty-five according to place value. Now that we know place value, we know that the number one comes in the hundreds place, the number three in the tens place and the number five is in the ones place. So this means that one represents one hundred. The second digit three in the tens place represents thirty and the third digit is five that is in the ones place so it represents five. To find out what 135 is, we will add the values together. So, the number 135 is made of 100, 3 tens and 5 ones. So, the number is 135. 135. Thank <laughs> you.